hit the subscribe button to subscribe Paladins. And if you haven't already, do this to make sure you got notified each and every time a new video comes in on Paladins. Close the topic pollination by cross pollination. Cross pollination is that a uh, spores goes on from a flower of a tree and it got dropped down in a different flower of a different tree. But I told you that the condition is same that the type of two trees are have to be the same one. And cross pollination has also three different types. But before we can jump into these types, cross pollination has its some own agents who used to carry the spores from a tree to another tree. So let's get started with the types of cross pollination. Cross pollination has three different types. The first one is the anemophily. Anemophily means where the air is the agent of this conduction. The second one is the hydrophily. Hydrophily means where the water is the conductor. And the third one is the zoophily. Zoophily has many different types. So let's get started. The first type of zoophily is entomophily. Entomophily means where the agent is insect and this type of flowers has two things which is which is noticeable that is first one is the nectar gland and the second one is the bright color of this flower. It really attract the insects and the second one is anthropophily. Anthropophily means where the agents are human beings. And the third one is ornithophily. Ornithophily means where the agents are birds. Fourth one is myrmecophily. Myrmecophily means where the agents are ants. And the fifth one is clirepterophily. Clirepterophily means where the agents are bat. And the sixth one is hymenopterophily, where the agents are honeybee. And the last one is the cytrophily, where the agents is butterfly. Now, let's talk about some outbreeding devices of cross-pollination. Most of them is, the first one is dicleaning. Dicleaning means the flower is either a feminine or a masculine. So in this case, the flower has to make the cross-pollination to get fertilized. The second one is dichogamy. You can see the picture in the screen and there you can see two flowers. In one case, the spores area is got matured and the ovary area is not matured yet. And in another case, you can see the ovary area is matured and but the spore area is doesn't matured yet. So in this case, what happens? which ovary is matured now and which spore is matured now they got reproductive they got connected to each other and this time the cross pollination happens and in case where the spores are got matured first this type of flowers called protandi and where the ovary got matured first this type of flowers called protogyne so I hope you can understand cross-pollination better. If you have any question regarding this, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to get more interesting videos like this. Hey, this is Shining off. Till you guys have a great day.